last month i traveled to a variety of locations i went to goa amritsar mcleod ganj and even chikmagalur now after covid i think this is the first time i took such a long trip and in this trip one of the things i wanted to do was explore the local areas areas where normally people who live there go to i am a crazy foodie and i love to explore local areas where people eat street food where people drink some nice beverages normally if i wanted to do a trip like this it would take a lot of planning time of me contacting local people asking them where they go what they do etc but in this trip i just went without any sort of planning depending on one single app google maps to take me around during this trip i learned a lot of tips tricks and hacks i'd like to share with you on how google maps helped in saving a lot of time getting me to places which i have never heard of which i can't find online reviews about but the five features we are going to talk about today i'm sure you have not heard of let's get started starting off with offline maps now i'm sure you've heard of offline maps if you haven't when you open google maps and you open a particular region you click on your profile icon here you click on offline maps and you click on select your own map you can drag and zoom around in any given location you can zoom in a little bit if you want or zoom out and then you can click on download now this saves an offline map but here's the thing one of the things i realized is despite having the offline maps more often than not i end up using google maps for navigation in this way when you save offline maps it doesn't save navigation so let me show you how you can save navigation also offline so here i have a location say davangiri i click on directions i want and i select the start location as say something like bangalore the moment i do that it gives you a pop up tap to download offline directions for spotty connections click on this now what has happened is apart from the actual maps data even the navigation data will now be downloaded so that even along the way if the if your network connection is bad or for whatever reason you're not able to get internet you can still access all of the navigation data so before i had gone on the trip i had made sure that at least from significant locations i had downloaded all the navigation data so i wouldn't get taken for a ride by the local drivers so please make sure you do this it's a huge saver even without internet it's going to work perfectly and gps works without internet anyway so keep that in mind now moving on of course any city you go to any place you go to you want to find the best locations normally you just search on google maps best restaurant or best fast food or whatever it is near you you can also search for various popular locations to check out another way to discover the best locations to go for in a particular city or near a particular location is just open that location in google maps you will see a small menu here which says latest in area slide up and open up the menu and what you will find are the latest photos which people who use google maps have taken not just that in some locations you can also find the best interest areas so for instance when i had gone to dharamshala in himachal pradesh you click on dharamshala and you wait for a couple of seconds and you wait for latest in dharamshala this menu to come up open it up and it will show you all the popular locations you should definitely check out over here this includes monasteries it includes views treks whatever it is and it gives you all this information right here allowing you to really create a very comprehensive plan and occasionally you will also find some really nice places as you're going through some of the photos which a lot of local guides and a lot of users of google maps have uploaded so this was a feature which really helped discover some very nice places which i wouldn't have discovered even from google map search or even google search hell random blogs for that matter so do check out the explore feature something which has come really handy i'm sure you know that if you want to visit multiple places you can create some very nice lists if you don't know let me just quickly show you say for example i find these iconic places i click on this bookmark icon right here and i save it in a list so say i can save it in my travel plan list maybe add a small note like want to visit and i click on done so this adds to my list and i can add multiple places here for instance i can add an art museum i can add i don't know maybe the skyway let me show you a way of supercharging your list so open google maps and click on saved over here open your respective list 
Now, apart from adding this list and having all the details right here, what you can do is share this list with multiple people. So for in this case, let me just add, I don't know, let's say this particular email ID and let others edit this list. So what this does is they can now contribute to this list just the way you can, allowing you to create a much more comprehensive list. And even before you go there, you can find some really cool locations to check out to make sure that you know you make most of your trip. So using lists and shared lists between me and my wife, we have a shared list. We were able to add a lot of locations and make sure that you know we don't miss a single place. So do check out shared lists on Google Maps. My next feature will make you question your privacy with respect to Google, but hey, they already know everything. So let's see how you can make most of it. One of the things I absolutely loved in Google Maps was the timeline feature. Click on your profile icon and click on your timeline. So once you get to the timeline feed, you can check out all the trips which you have taken. For instance, I had been to Chikmagalur. When I open this trip, it'll show me all the places I visited, where all I ate. It showed me all the destinations I went to, how long it took us to travel, the photos which I have taken over here from Google Photos. And it'll also show me some more things. Yes, if I go to insights, it'll show me all my insights with respect to how long I was driving, how long I was walking, how long I was in transit, how many places to eat I visited, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what I love about this is, well, it's a nice way of looking back at where all you went, you know, it's like your own personal geographical insight. And I think Google has done a great job organizing this. They know a lot of things about you and uh, this is a way of them presenting it to you in a way where, you know, you'll not be scared of your privacy, but hey, I really like the timeline feature and the insights. It's a great way of looking back at trips and seeing what exactly happened, looking back at trips and, you know, thinking of the memories you had over there. This was another trip which we took. I mean, it was beautiful, Dharamshala, Amritsar, and again, the photos, the different uh, locations we went to, how we traveled, etc. So I really, the way you access it, as I showed you, was pretty straightforward. Open maps, click on timeline, and you'll be right here. My final suggestion is setting departure date when you're planning your time and your schedule. Say you're going from Mumbai to Delhi and you would like to know how long it takes in your car. So let's quickly load that up. Okay, so it's gonna take almost a day if you decide to go in a car. But I wanna change the time I leave. So for instance, I wanna change when I'm going to depart, say I select, I'm going to depart on, I'm going to depart on Thursday at 5 a.m. Now, why am I selecting this? This will tell me what will be my expected time at that departure time because your traffic and the amount of cars which are moving from area to area from location to location changes depending on the time of the day and this selecting the departure time or the arrival time another way of doing this is you select the arrival time and you say that hey i want to reach by 7 30 a.m when am i supposed to leave it'll tell you exactly when you're supposed to leave so according to this you got to leave 21 hours 50 minutes before 7.30. Now, of course, this is a very long duration. It's difficult to predict, but this can really help when you're inside of cities. Occasionally speaking, you may just check the location and you may have checked it at night. But when you check it like this, where you select the arrival time and the departure time, you rarely go wrong. So Google takes into account the traffic data, the historical data, all those things and presents it in a very nice way for you to take action on. So these were the five features I extensively used just from Google Maps in my past few trips. Hope you like them. Let me know in the comment section below what features you have used, something which may, I may have not explored here. Would love to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.